Hello and welcome to today's video, where I want to talk about a different but powerful approach on how to become more confident in life. And as always, I'm going to do that by interpreting a quote. And today's quote is, get used to being who you are. It simply means that you learn who you are who you truly are and what you are capable of. Most people have simply the problem or the challenge that they just don't know what they really are, what they're good at, what they really truly like, what they dislike, why they do certain things in certain ways and why, do, why they not do certain things in certain ways. Like for example, why they have problems with doing things, why they have certain triggers. And all you have to do, it's always very simple, but it takes some time to understand maybe, is to get to know who you are. And how do you do that? Well, there are different approaches. I try to cover some in this video. The first thing is sit down and write things down. That's a very powerful way to get the clutter of your mind out of there, put it on a paper and then read it with a clear mind and understand the connections between it. For example, write down what are you good at? What do you like? What do you dislike? What are you bad at? What would you love to have in your life? What would you love not to have in your life? What do you want to get rid of? And the more true you are to yourself and the clearer your system is while writing these things down, the better and the closer are these results to your true being. If you know anybody who could benefit from hearing this message, feel free to share the video by simply sharing the link. Thank you. What you could do to get the best results by writing is to sit down before you start writing and ground yourself. I link the meditation video on the screen right now. You'll find it in the left upper corner. This meditation will help you to get into a deeper state where your mind is quieter and your heart is louder, which we actually want to achieve because to know, to become who you are, means to understand that you're not the mind and that you can not explain yourself with your mind and you are not the body because you are simply the consciousness behind the body and behind the mind. So by sitting down, doing the meditation and then starting writing, you have a larger and more intense connection between the consciousness and the things you actually write down, which is very, very helpful and brings the better results when you want to see who you truly are. And when you're done writing these things down, then it's about to implement these things in your life. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to share these things with others. In the beginning, you should always keep these things to yourself. Try to make them a part of you. I always call it, I integrate my new parts of myself into my system. It takes some time to get used to a new like, a new understanding, a new dislike, a new simply awareness of certain new circumstances. Try to implement these new ways and approaches of life into your daily life. One step at a time, change the things about yourself, which were not really your true self. And get used to these things before you implement new things. Take it easy, take it slowly, take it in a comfortable, not overwhelming way where you have to explain a lot to other people who suddenly start questioning your new decisions. The best thing you can do is actually just ignore these questions and ignore 
people's weird behavior towards you because you're simply not in a need of their approval of your decisions and of your needs and your wants. So try to implement them step by step and get used to being who you truly are. And by that, by more and more implementing these things step by step, for me it took over two, three years to really get very close to a very stable and, and confident personality with everything I am and with everything I want to be and as everything I want to be seen as because I simply didn't want to be anymore what they thought I am, what they thought I have to be, what they thought I would like to be. I changed all of these things. Suddenly I didn't want to be rich anymore. Suddenly I didn't want to become a famous person anymore. I simply wanted to become who I truly am and wanted to discover myself and see what I am capable of as a human. And I wanted to be myself. I wanted to dress how I am and I wanted to wear my hair the way I am. And I wanted to simply do what I wanted to do, what I really felt to do. I wanted to be honest. I wanted to be truthful. I wanted to make videos about seeking the truth inside of myself and talking to people about the approach of really becoming oneself and this discovery of the self and this wellness of the mind and the wellness of the whole being. That was what I really wanted to discover. I wanted to be a researcher of the unexplainable, simply. By implementing more and more of these things into your life and taking it easy, not doing too much at a time, then you will have the chance to feel more and more like yourself. And your body and your mind have more and more an understanding of who you are and who you want to be. And then they can align more. And if you do the meditation, I told you before, on a daily basis, maybe once a day, then this will also support you getting used to who you are. You will be more yourself. You will be more confident with the understanding of being yourself, of expressing yourself. And if it means to change some external things, if it means to change your job because you work for a company that's not doing good, for example, and you want to do good, then you can do it in your tempo. You can implement in your tempo. It's always first to getting used to being who you are and then define the way of who you want to become. So the most people approach this be who you want to be or be who you are or how to become you self-confident with a very strict or very crazy cut in their life. They say like, wake up early in the morning, um, eat only healthy food, do sports every day. But all of these sudden changes will just disrupt and, and, and uh, disturb your system, the harmony in your system and will lead to a very weird feeling and actually losing yourself. But if you do it step by step, very slowly, very loving to yourself, very easy with yourself, then these things can integrate into your system and th all these things will support you by lifting up yourself and discovering yourself and discovering who you truly are. Slowing down is the right way to do. And so you will stay powerful during your whole transformation instead of being a completely different human from today to tomorrow with a completely unstable personality and with absolutely unstable explanations and appearances. You will constantly stay in a powerful state because you always get used to who you are by implementing these things step by step. And you wrote it down in the beginning. So you can always come back and see like, okay, how do I perform? How do I do right now? And if you are a little bit slow, it doesn't matter because it's always 
you feel confident, you feel comfortable with your current state, and then you do the next step. It's not a race. It's not about changing instantly and completely disturbing your system and your being and your personality and losing yourself by that. It's about being confident and powerful during the whole journey of your self-discovery. And that's all for today I have actually about this topic. But if you want to know more about how to be in yourself and how to get used to, just write me a comment below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It only takes about two seconds, but that helps out a lot. And you may want to watch the video that is now appearing on your screen because it's the video that YouTube thinks you would like the most. And I'll see you in the next video.